Suffrage means quite a lot to me and it makes me think about lots of different things. My mind first drifts to the suffrage movement over 125 years ago, learning about Kate Shepherd at school and um, thinking about how, how important it is um, for women to have that right and think about the amazing work that women did to um, have that right um, restored to them. Um, but it also makes me think about my age and being able to vote because this year in 2020 is the general election but I'm not even going to be able to vote in it. I'm, just, I'm born just eight days after September 19th, and so me and so many other people won't be able to participate in our democracy and have our one vote to be represented by the people in power who are going to be making decisions that are going to affect our future so much. And so I really believe that voting is a fundamental human right and everyone should be able to vote, participate in the democracy, and make sure that they feel like their voice is heard. Suffrage means multiple things to me. I tell it like a story, what was, what is, and what is to come. In terms of what was, I thought it was a great undertaking in our history, in New Zealand Aotearoa's history. It was amazing because it was the chance for our women to finally have their voices heard. But that finally came with some sad um, components to it. Why do I say sad? Sad because of all the effort it took to get to the vote. Great that we got the recognition, but it was a reflection of the times which we still face today, pandering to the sensibilities of pale, stale males, fighting to have our voices heard. Which is moving towards where we are today. What is? We're still fighting for our voices to be heard in different places, different echelons of society. It's a little different from myself being uh, Samoan and in the Pacifica gen generally. In Pacific history, women have long been highly regarded and respected and have held leadership roles right across our histories. For example, in Hawaii, the first ruler of um, Oahu was a woman. We had Queen Saloti in Tonga. We had the legend, the myth of that famous Nafanua in Samoa. A lot of the paramount ariki in the Rotonga were women. The same in the island of Huayne in Tahiti. So for Pacifica, it was a little bit, perhaps I can feel a bit disconnected from it sometimes because we never had to have that fight to be heard. We had always been the cornerstones of our societies and highly regarded. Women always had their place and were always respected. So to come to a place where women had to fight to be heard was a little different for us. But I'm so glad that they did. I'm so glad that those women did fight the good fight, which we are still uh, seeing the fruits of today. In terms of what is to come, it's to carry on that baton, continue the race and hand it on to those who are coming after us. We are fighting that good fight, we are fighting what has been and what can be improved and I encourage all of those who are looking at this now, do your bit, be the change that you want to see. Suffrage for me means that women have a voice and that they are recognised as equal um, under the Human Rights Act and under international law. Suffrage is an important um, way of women being able to share their opinions on uh, issues that matter to them. If it's paid parental leave or equal pay, the rights of children, the environment, everyone's voice should count in New Zealand. When I think of suffrage, I think of when I first heard the word when I was in high school. Hearing the stories of this unrelenting groundswell of women guaranteeing generations to come the right to vote and how amazing it was to learn about but then when I look back on it now as well I think of how monocultural the lens was in which we looked at those stories. I think about how some stories dominated over others and as a Sri Lankan woman working in the museum sector as a Toiwi um, I think of the responsibility that we all share in um, facilitating more conversations about those untold histories and my hope for the future is that there are a multitude of perspectives in how and when we think about our history in New Zealand. Um, suffrage to me is, is a real mixed bag because I do have a lot of, I have a lot of pride in the women who fought for suffrage a long, long time ago. But I also know that the, the way they did it was often incredibly racist. They used the example that if, you know, immigrant men were allowed to vote who couldn't even speak English properly, that why couldn't they vote? And I also, it makes me angry that people use suffrage as an example to say that women 
and, and oppress people in general have equality now because it's just not true. I'm someone who has something called borderline personality disorder and up until 1980 that was it, with the diagnostic systems manual they still had this thing called hysteria which is where they believe the uterus used to wander the body and that's what made people sick in these days. It's things like borderline personality disorder or schizophrenia which would have been diagnosed as hysteria. It would have just been because you're a woman we think your uterus is making you crazy. Yeah, that, that was only, only 40 years ago. So it's, it's the tip of the iceberg for me. Suffrage is the tip of the iceberg. We've still got a really, really long way to go. And it's helped me understand different forms of oppression, but it's very much a mixed bag.